right, so I'm going to install a uh, worn winch on a 2019 Yamaha Wolverine. This should probably be similar for other years, uh, but you may want to verify that. So I've got a few parts here. Now one thing, um, I did buy the Yamaha mounting kit, and it comes with some wiring. Uh, but I was able to get this worn winch, not from a Yamaha dealer, but uh, from Rocky Mountain ATV, they had a 42% off sale. And this is synthetic rope, the Yamaha one's wire rope. And this was a much better value. And in this case, um, I like the synthetic rope. Uh, for my ATV that has a snow, or my ATVs that have snow plus, I got a couple that do. Um, I use wire rope. I just feel like durability for that would be better. I have no intention. Uh, this is a really nice new machine that I don't want to ride around in the salt um, and the snow. So uh, I only ever really intend to use this uh, winch when I'm, uh, you know, either trying to pull myself out or pull someone else out when I'm out riding. So um, that's why I went with this, and it's a better price than the Yamaha one. All right, so few things and this is going to be the controversial part of this one so when you look at the Yamaha instructions and this is the front of the of the Wolverine um, and so you can see right in here there's a little plastic panel on the back side of this is where they want you to mount the solenoid now I hemmed and hawed because I've definitely you know seen and heard from other people where they don't like the idea of drilling a hole through the plastic right in the front where you can see it. Um, I'm taking a slight, I'm gonna go with it just because when I kinda, and it might be hard to see down inside of here, but there's not, like I've got a bunch of accessories already kind of under the hood. The other place that I thought it might fit well would be here. Granted, they give you these cables which are meant for the solenoid to be mounted in that location, and you can see how short they are. So. If you're gonna relocate the solenoid anywhere else, you'll have to use the cables that come with the, the winch um, and not, and I'm not sure because I didn't get the Yamaha one, it's possible that that one doesn't come with the cables because they assume you're buying this kit, in which case you'll have to make your own cables or buy some. But I looked at it and I, and I really felt like this area was pretty, under, on the underneath side here, is pretty well protected from the elements and that way I wouldn't have to worry about any um, you know, eating up space underneath the hood that I might need for later accessories. But the one thing that I did was I have uh, this bolt kit. Um, I have a few of these. You can buy them at Harbor Freight. Really handy because um, you can. Ha it gives you an assortment of bolts, and then when you're working on projects, it saved me countless hours driving to the hardware store for fasteners. But I just basically got these, um, you know, hex screws, and they're black. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on to mount the solenoid. And I doubt you could even tell it was on the front. If you did see it, you wouldn't think twice about it. So I think aesthetic wise shouldn't make any difference. Um, so the first step um, in the process for mounting one of these is, and it might be hard to see, but right here under the bumper, there's two bolt holes and I'm gonna have to mount that bracket to those two bolt holes. And in order to do that, this plate has to come off and there's a few bolts and I can feel them underneath here and so we'll go ahead and get these get these bolts off and pull that cover off and then we can bolt on the uh, wench mount. Okay I'm going to remove uh, this skid plate there are six Torx um, bolts on this
Okay, first step is going to be to get the mounting plate here uh, bolted in. So if you look back here, there are two bolt holes. I'm lying on that. There are two bolt holes, one there, one there, and those are going to go through the bolt holes here on the mount plate. And then what happens next is on the bottom of the mount plate, the wench has four bolt holes on the bottom, and these bolt holes are the ones that go with the ones in the frame here. You can see those are going to go through and into the into the wench. So we'll get those first two bolts in, then we'll work on getting the wench in. So there, one other note, there is a bolt pack that came with the Yamaha mounting kit. These are the two bolts that are going to go into the, the frame. So one kind of unfortunate thing, for whatever reason, um, this was just off just enough to where I couldn't thread the bolts through. So I had to ream out the holes with a Dremel tool, less than ideal in a brand new wench mount. So one of the things that I'll do is I'm going to just put a little bit of paint, uh, Rust-Oleum paint in there, let it dry, and that'll prevent this from rusting in there because that's not great. But it was the only way to make it fit because it was just off and you couldn't thread the bolts. So if perchance yours comes that way, I, you have to kind of ream to the out, outside to give it just a little bit more space. and that uh, did the trick and now the winch mount fits. So before I put in the winch, just because it'll give me, give me more access, I'm going to go ahead and bolt on the ferro lead here. Yeah, you basically use uh, these bolts. So you got a hex head here and just uh, a nylon locking or nylon locking bolt here. So I'll go ahead and put those on. All right, so the next step all right, so the next step is going to be to put uh, the wench in the mount. Now, these are obviously the terminals that, that the wires connect to. The problem here is, is that, it's, although it may be possible, I don't want to fight it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the wires on the wench before I mount it to simplify that. One other thing, there are these boots, and I definitely would say do not, do not skip this. These come in the, the winch kit, and what we want to do here is you want to basically get these uh, fished on first because it's, it's a bit of a chore. Um, I ended up having to, to kind of get them around coerce it a little bit using a gasket pick here. So that's something if you don't have, you can just get at your local auto parts store. And so basically I use that to kind of pull underneath here and, and for kind of help coerce the boot over. One other thing, and this step is optional, but I prefer to do it. I've got some dielectric grease here. I'm going to go ahead and grease the terminals uh, just to make sure that I always have a good connection and it'll keep you know any dust or dirt out of there. Totally optional, but uh, something that I like to do. All right, so it's time to put the winch uh, um, in the side-by-side. -side. Got the two wires connected and the boots on, and then I got the boots on the other end ready to go so I don't have to fight that what's in the machine. One other thing that's probably easier to do when this isn't in there is get the um, synthetic rope loose so that it can get threaded through the ferro lead uh, much more easily. All right, and so let's go ahead and see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, so just pass it through the side like so. Uh, make sure that I've got the wire rope not caught around anything, which is probably sure that that's underneath where it's supposed to be. Okay, so now just probably before I belt, bolt it in, just go ahead and put 
push it through the ferrule lead. A little hard to do one-handed. Oops. All right, I'm gonna put down the camera and do this two-handed. So we have the, the wench in, it just, sli it just slides in from the side. So it's in there. I've got my two wires attached and we'll fish those up. So then in the kit, it comes with six bolts. So there's four, sh there's four short bolts and then two of the long ones. Because we're mounting through um, this uh, guard here, brush guard, we are going to have to use these two longer ones in the front and you have to get at it from the bottom for this so we'll go ahead and get on the ground and try and get this threaded up I'm going to need both my hands, so that's where the two bolt holes go. That's where the four bolt, that is where the four bolts go, and I'll show you it when we're done. Alright, time to mount the solenoid. So, as I discussed earlier, so this is solenoid, this will be in the winch kit. And then, basically, the mounting location, if you can see it, put a little light on it, is right on the front, uh, I'd say bumper, but uh, right in this area on the other side of it, obviously. So now the problem of how do we get this mounted. So what I've done is I've got my calipers here and you can see it's a little shy, but it, basically the distance between the two, I, I would say comfortably, I would feel good at three and an eighth inches. So let's bump that out. So three and an eighth inches gives me pretty good adjustability once I get in there, but not putting me to the limits. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically translate that. Hard to get the camera in there. I'm gonna translate that onto front bumper and then I'm going to drill the holes from the front to the back and then be able to mount the solenoid. Um, I'm going to need both my hands. I'm going to need both my hands for this one so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so it might be a little hard to see but I, this is the Yamaha mounting location here underneath the bumper. So you can see I mounted the, the solenoid and then the wires fish down. There's a little opening there. So fish the wires down. And then obviously you have to draw a hole through the front, which at the time was a little disturbing to me. But if you can see, I just took these hex head bolts so they could snug right up against the line there. And I was able to you know, I think what I come up with a very clean mounting solution that you wouldn't, if you saw it, you'd assume that it was always meant to be there. And um, it totally blends in. So to be able, so to be able to drill those holes underneath the bumper, I went with this uh, right angle attachment for my drill. So uh, this is probably the best bet. Otherwise you have to figure out some kind of way to snake the drill bit between the bumper and not scuff it and that seemed a little challenging so it's right angle attachment and then I just drilled from the front. Okay. So I got the solenoid wired up here. 
you can see I've got all the wire, all the uh, high voltage wires on. Um, I'm gonna run the, gonna run the uh, switch or the wiring for the switch here in a second. That controls the winch. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge. You basically have to run the wires. According to the instructions, you run the wires through the light mounts there. I put it up through that part of the frame. And then there's a hole in the electrical box. It was a little tight, so I reamed it out just a hair. And then the last part is, is then you can snake the wires through. Um, and that'll bolt onto the battery, but I'm not going to connect those until uh, we have the, the wiring for the switch and the controller, basically. And so that, according to the directions, basically drill out that hole there and the controller will mount and then I'll have to run the wires and then you actually store the controller in that uh, empty box there but I'll get that uh, figured out and how we run the wires down to the solenoid. Alright so got all the final wiring done so this is where the jack goes for the uh, worn remote control and then you just store the remote control in this space is how the design is supposed to work. And then how you run the wires. So what I did was, and it may be a bit hard to see, So those punch through the through the foot or through the dash there and or the glove box and then you take the one wire which connects up to the, one of these open wiring harnesses up there and so that's for the worn um, that's for the basically the key on part of the worn switch so you can't work the winch if the key isn't on safety feature. And then the other part of that was then you have this black wire which has to go to the solenoid and that you kind of push through this hole down here you can see it and then you'll pick it up the other if you look here the other side of the firewall opening and then it comes all the way along and then you fish it. I went uh, through the top there because you don't want this to touch the coil and you can see the loose wires here. I'm going to you know, zip tie all this together because you wouldn't obviously leave that hanging down. And get the wires in the right places and coiled up. And then the only other thing that you may or may not have to do, so as mentioned earlier, I uh, purchased a, a non-Yamaha winch for this. And so one of the problems that we had, let's see if I can get the camera in there, is that there are these bullet connectors. There were no connectors to fit on the terminals on top of the solenoids. So what I did is, is I just made, I just made these wires. So, you know, just got the, got the bullet connectors, got the right connectors for the terminals on there and cut, uh, cut, crimped, and then put heat shrink tubing on them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those in a conduit, clean this up really nice, get everything zip tied, but that's the easy part. And then one difference that you may have too. So I wasn't thrilled with the idea of having to open the glove box and plug in the remote when I wanted to use the winch. And since I didn't buy the Yamaha winch, I did get a uh, like a on off switch for it. And so you can see here, there's two sets of wires running. 
the ones I made, the, and then the ones inside here. And so what I did was I actually mounted right here. I actually mounted the switch that came with the winch so that when I'm sitting in the driver's seat, I don't have to reach over to the glove box. And you can just obviously press the buttons right here. Much, you know, much easier right there. And so I thought that that would be better um, in some cases. So I, I basically just got a little bracket. You can just buy that. I just bought that at the Home Depot rather than make one. And remove this bolt here, put the bracket on, and use the existing worn hardware. And then once again, there's these openings. I fished the wire through there. It comes out in the firewall. Then I took the wire and ran it all the way across here. And then it's going to tuck underneath the same way I did with that light bar, tuck underneath this intake. And then there's an opening down here where all these wires are. And so I snaked it through that existing hole. And that's where you see this larger wire that's hanging down and that and that was the one we were talking about earlier so there's the there's the wire and I'll I'll pull more of this up and coil it up in the firewall and we'll get everything cinched up and then the worn switch uh, this one that comes with the worn winch has it's designed to work with that uh, remote jack as well so what I did was it has two extra terminals on it, and I don't know if you can see those. So I just put that switch in, and then I took the ones from the accessory jack. I think you can see it there. Try to get the camera in here. You can see how it's got two sets of terminals. So I took the wires I made. I I took the wires I made and put them on those extra terminals and then put the the worn remote or the switch that came with the winch on the two terminal plugs and sure enough uh, everything works as the wiring diagram says it should and now I've got a, a nice control up there I don't have to necessarily reach in the glove box although the glove box one will be nice um, in the event where you don't want to be in the vehicle and you want to work the winch so and then final step the best part, just putting the hook on and tested everything out, works as it should. So hopefully this video helps you. I, it, it, Yamaha definitely did not make this one, in my opinion, easy. Their uh, sheet for this says one and a half hours. Um, it takes quite a bit more time than that, in my opinion, to if you don't know and you have to kind of figure things out. Because it took me a while to figure out where all the wire wires needed to be routed through and I wanted to do a nice clean job and you know it's one of those things where you know things like where you're working on those two bolts up in here and you don't want to you know you want to do a clean job with that and so you have to really kind of take your time and figure it out now granted if I had to do this again I could probably do it much quicker um, now that I know where everything goes all right hope this helps please subscribe to my channel